Hey guys, it's XBlabrex here. Today we have a really simple tutorial. The only thing that you need is export or XSATA or a free Microsoft transfer cable. And you need to download the uh, Halo modding kit uh, that is in the description. So let's start this up. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to place a few items just so we can start this out and we can start our modding here because we're going to be swapping stuff out. So, I think I'll spawn, let's start off with a plasma grenade. Probably, yeah, plasma grenade would be best. Place it there, I guess. And then second, see, it's a plasma grenade. Second, we're going to place a frag. And then third, we're going to be placing a spike. And then I think I'll see if I can make anything else. I'll just spawn a bubble shield, I'll guess. I guess I'll make something else out of it after, just to demonstrate. So here's the bubble shield. Alright, then when you're done, you're going to save as new map. Don't save changes, because that'll make it so you can't find your map on your hard drive. Make sure that you save it as a new map. No save changes. Alright, then just name it whatever. I'll name it mods. Saving. Alright, now just end the game and let's go over to the PC and mod this. Alright, once you actually make your map on your Xbox, you're going to plug in your hard drive to your computer via export or memory transfer kit or whatever you have. Um, I've already done that, so now all you're going to do is open up Halo 3 Toy Box. You can download Halo 3 Toy Box in the video description. So, anyways, go to Applications, Connectivity, and then use one of these three tools to get your game saved. I'm going to use Explorer 360 Extreme 2, because I like it, and it's very reliable. So minimize that. And then here's Explorer 360. So you go to Drive, Open, Hard Drive or Memory Card. go partition 3 content um your profile it's probably going to be the first one the one that's not the zeros it's probably going to be the first one after the zeros um then go down to 4d5307e6 that is halo so click that click into there and then there's going to be a crap load of stuff um you're going to maximize this and go to date modified and click on that and you're going to keep going down until you find the date that it is. Today is, I think, yeah, 8-2. So find it. It should say user map. So here's mine. Mine is right here. And then drag it and drop it over to somewhere on your computer. Drag and drop. Okay, now go back to here. Minimize Explorer 360 for now. And go back to Halo 3 Toy Box, Applications, Map Editor. Um, you can use nearly any of these, but Johnson, Engineer, and Sandbox require map downloads. Forge is the only one that does not, so I'm just going to use Forge. Then here's Forge. Go to File, Open, and then go to where you placed your map, and then open it up. Alright, here you can edit the author, um, the variant name, description, how much budget you can have, um, how much budget it currently has, so I'm just going to edit a little bit here. Description, mods, variant name, um, hey, it's a mod. Alright, and variant author, your mom, there you go. Now click to save that. Okay, now we're going to actually do some swapping out. That's where those grenades placed. And now we're going to go swap those. And go to equipment to find the grenades and the bubble shield and stuff. And you'll see all this stuff. Plasma grenades, claymores, firebombs, frags. Go down to here somewhere. Plasma grenades. We can swap that out. So just go over to this uh, tab over here. The left, it's a little drop down box. And then drop down, and if you're looking for, like, um, if you're looking for 
clones and stuff, they're going to be in the by B I P D tab. So go in there, and then you can choose either Elite, Master Chief, or the Monitor. I'm going to do Elite, and then save it, and it should close that. And then just do it again for the rest of them. So I just swap that out. So I'm going to swap out our frag that we did. Go up to Biped. And I'm going to swap it for Master Chief. Save. Once again, go down here. And then Claymore is actually Spikes. So you can just click Claymore. And then go to Monitor Editor. And then save. And that's the monitor. So... Now we're going to swap out that bubble shield that we made just for something. I don't know what I'm going to swap it for, but we'll find out. So go to bubble shield, and we can figure out what we're going to swap it for. Usually objects that you find on the map, like fans and stuff that you can't move, those are usually in this send tag right down here. So you can click on that, and you can find stuff that you can copy it for, like sky, spawn points, stuff like that. I think I'm probably going to edit that for a... Uh, I think I'm going to edit that for a oddball, probably. I don't know. Let's see if I can find it. Even better. Yellow security light. Let's try that. Now you save it. And once that's done, you can hit tools, resign all. But that usually doesn't work, so just exit out. Now you're going to open up Modio, which can also be found in the description. And go to where your map is saved. So, I'm waiting for Modio to open. Loading Modio. You can X out of Halo 3 Toy Box, by the way, now. Alright, now that Modio is opened. You're going to drag and drop your file into there. And then you're going to hit rehash and resign, and then when it's done over here, you're going to X all this out, drag this back over to your hard drive in Explorer 360, it will ask if you want to overwrite, click yes, and there you go. Drive, close, unplug it, and then plug it back into your 360. I'm going to switch up back over to the Xbox now so we can see how the mod worked. Alright guys, sorry about the black screen. Um, just one thing, when you pop in the disc, the Halo 3 disc, it might give you an error message saying that the disc is unreadable. Just hit OK. I don't know, understand why it does that. It just does and restart your disc. And it might also say that your utility drive was cleared. I don't know what that is, and it's never changed anything for me before, so just hit OK. Now, uh, let's let Halo 3 boot up here. And then go to either Custom Games or Forge. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I'll use Forge, I guess. And then go to your map and let the save game files information load and let that do its thing. Once that actually does its thing, just back out and go back in and then choose your map. Mine's up at Foundry, so I'm going to go up there. And then there we go. Look. Hey, it's a mod with the description says mods and the author is your mom. <laughs> Anyways. Choose your map and load it up. And let it load. And I just split the loading time so I didn't want to waste time. And then start up your game. Now, as you can see, we have our clones here. We have our Elite clone, our Master Chief clone, and our Monitor clone. So, our mod definitely worked. Now, you guys can pretty much just mess around with this. Also, you can see that our security light is over there, too. So, our mod totally worked, as you can see. So, I hope you guys had fun with this tutorial and i hope you guys learn a lot from it and i hope you guys make some pretty good modded maps if you guys do it and i hope you do well this has been xblabberx and i will talk to you guys in my next video